All right, we just got our uh, DJI Phantom advanced in, and this is just a super quick setup guide because it was a little confusing for me to get it uh, out. So uh, DJI Phantom, uh, I just unboxed it. Uh, the blades are in here. Uh, you're gonna wanna screw those blades on. Uh, those blades uh, are unique to two corners, and it's notated with a black and a silver dot. Uh, and the black, if you were to unscrew this underneath there on the top of the screw is black and underneath here on the top of the screw is silver and it notates uh, how you should be doing it. Uh, if you look closely right here, it tells you how to spin them on. So you're just gonna wanna hold the motor and you're gonna wanna hand tighten these to get them on. Uh, once you do that, you're gonna wanna take the battery out and you're gonna plug in and charge the battery. In addition to charging the battery, you're gonna wanna take the, the side of the remote here and you're gonna to wanna to charge that. Once you get that to full charge, you should press that here and you should see a full charge on that. Uh, so we did that. And now I'm gonna slide this back in. It's not the right way, I'm gonna slide, oh, that was the right way. I'm gonna slide this in. So uh, the camera's not gonna work, or it didn't work for me at least, until I put an SD card in it. So uh, the SD card, the micro SD card, gets clicked in uh, right there into the side. Uh, once you do that, you're gonna wanna then uh, pick which device you're gonna wanna use for it. Uh, at first I used my Android phone, but I actually preferred to use an iPad instead. Most people that I see use it, uh, they have uh, an iPad mini. Uh, I didn't have an iPad mini laying around. Uh, I ended up having just a full-size iPad. And it actually grew on me where I like it for flying in first person point of view. Uh, so uh, once you get that, you're going to just want to go uh, into iTunes. You go into iTunes and then you download uh, the DJI Go app. This is it right here, DJI Go. And so now we're going to connect this to here. So in order to turn this on and get this ready, you're gonna press this uh, two short times and one long time. And you can hear it, it'll make a beep, and the camera will do a little sync thing. And then to turn on the remote, same thing, two short, one long. So it'll look, uh, I'm inside, I'm actually in a heavy wooded area. So once this goes to green, you'll be able to start flying it. Let me take this outside here. I'll just put it in my kitchen. If I crash this, this is gonna turn into an epic fail video. <clears throat> All right. You wanna wait until this goes green. The reason why it's not green right now is because I'm inside my house and it's having trouble talking to the GPS satellite. But it will go eventually, it will go green. And then uh, it'll set a home point. And then once it sets a home point, you're going to want to press here and then you're going to slide and this will actually take uh, the aircraft off. And then from there, you're going to be manually controlling it. This is going to be uh, turning the camera left and right. This is going to be tilting and flying. And this back one right here is going to be your zoom. And this back C2, C1 right here is going to look straight down. I feel like that's all you really need right now for basic stuff. Uh, once you take it off, uh, I don't want to do it in my kitchen. It's pretty easy to do. But then this, uh, in order to bring it back home, this button right here, you're going to click it and you're going to click slide to come home. The same, the same way in the other one where it was slide to take off. And uh, that's it. And that should be your first flight uh, in under five minutes setup.